Savage Orox coming up next on Monster Hobbies. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello once again everybody and welcome back to another Monster Hobbies What's in the Box where we'll be looking at some Savage Orox, otherwise formerly known as Savage Orcs. And these are some really cool models, a worthy opponent for those great Warhammer battles. So without further ado, let's go down and see what's in the Oryx box. Now it's time to get Savage with the Savage Oryx. Uh -huh. So anyway, here's our review of the Savage Oryx models. Wah! All right, <laughs> said to do a little walk right there. Okay, so here's the older box, of course. I've got a lot of older models, but they're still concurrent in our modern Games Workshop arena. These, of course, are Savage Orcs, Orux, as they're now known. And there's a lot of cool things going on here. You got these two guys carrying this gigantic bone spear, and you got a bunch of guys just going, Rah! and of course, their gigantic massive banner here, or icon, I guess it is. So let's just flip the box over and here you can see the, now these are older of course, but these are the call out colors that uh, now there's a conversion for this for the newer Citadel paints. You can see this guy up in the corner going wah with his stuff. It's a little underpowered but, and there's our big spear there with everybody getting ready for a big teardown combat. So let's go and check out the instructions on this. All right, so I rotated our frame around just so that the instructions actually fit better in it. So here's our Savage Orox right here. This, of course, was an instruction sheet. The models came out at a time when Games Workshop was updating stuff for Warhammer Fantasy 8th Edition. Copyright 2010, so already this is almost a 10-year-old model set. So let's just open up these instructions here. These are multi-page instructions, as you can see by the staples in the center. So, just by moving it this way, you can see here is our Savage Orok Champion and how to put them together. He's got a single piece body, a face with these nice jaws on it, a couple of arms, and the stonework weaponry that the Savage Oroks have. This would, of course, be sort of like, um, oh, what's the black stuff? The black stone. Obsidian. Much like obsidian there. This, of course, is our savage Orok musician bashing away on a some kind of stone skull he's got here. There's his face going onto the body. Now, these had little tongues molded in on the necks, so don't file those off. <laughs> Otherwise, he's got no tongue. There, of course, is the arm holding the skull head drum. And now we'll just bring this down here. Wiggle, wiggle. Okay, here's our Savage Orox standard bearer. <laughs> and he's holding this nice big battle standard, which is massive. How do the little arms hold this big stuff up anyway? And for prolonged amounts of time, the entire battle, <laughs> without giving out. Anyway, the Aurox strength, I suppose. So these are actually kind of basic quick build you can do with the new uh, contrast paints. Head goes onto body, arm and knife go on. And then over here we've got a savage Aurox with a spear and shield. So you get your options on how to build these guys. You can either build them as spearmen or with uh, with a weapon and a shield. So of course there's the head with the top knot and of course it's all going together with the shield with some animal bones on it. So now let's turn this over and slide this back for a minute. And here we have the Savage Orok with two hand weapons. I'm not sure if this is actually a thing anymore on the rules. You guys if you've built these models, let us know in the comment section below how you build them and how effective they are on the battlefield. I'd like to know that. Savage Orc with a bow. 
So you can also have these guys with the bow and arrows and the quivers. And then here we have the big stabba for the Savage Oryx. I don't know what they, they call this now in Age of Sigmar. If you know, write in the comment section down below. But anyway, these are these two guys. I, I'm curious, how do these guys work in the Savage Oryx army? Actually, the Bone Splitters army. <laughs> How does this work against big monsters and stuff? Have any of you guys taken any big monsters down with this this thing here? If so, let us know in the comments section below. That would be cool. I want to hear your battle stories down there. Okay, so turning into our final page here. That's a blank one for writing notes. <laughs> this is, of course, a Savage Orc. Uh, just in a different position with weapons up. These are the weapon options you get for your foot soldiers. So there's a small weapon, which of course would go with your shield. Then you get your bow arm with the quivers, and then the arm here with the small knife or holding a shield, and the spear guy. And now down here is all the different types of weapons that you get. So without further ado, let's check out what the plastic pieces look like. Now this model kit we're looking at is an older model. So it is still in the 8th edition fantasy world where it's got the square bases and a rectangle base for the guys with the big spear. I'm not sure the sizes of the new round bases and I suppose this would be an oval base here now for the spear guys. But uh, yeah, this is what you got back in 2010. Now this model kit comes with three parts trees with a lot of stuff going on. There's all our hand weapons here with the obsidian type stone blades and our bodies, little tongue sticking out. <laughs> there is that big standard. These funny things are actually the heads and of course there's our shields. So I'm just going to turn this over so you get a better view here. And then I'll bring up the parts closer to the camera so we can see them. Here's all our different types of shields. And there's our faces with the top knots and some without. I personally like the orcs, Orox, the Orox to uh, not have the top knot. I just never liked the top knot. I'd rather they all be bald in my army. <laughs> so anyway. There's, look at all that nice detail you get on that. Really a uh, primitive style to it. Of course, these being the Savage Orox and the Bone Splitter Army. All right, I'm just gonna bring this up here. Let's focus in on a few key things. Look at the, uh, ooh, the buttocks. <laughs> buttocks, <laughs> buttocks. Anyway, no, anyway, look at uh, the nice detail here on our Savage Orcs. Look at all the, uh, the bones and everything in here. Some really cool stuff going on. You actually get wood grain on the back of the shields. And of course there's the bone shields. And look at this guy's all going on the war page. War, or the rampage, sorry. Lifting up his leg there. There's our different Warrock faces. And there's the uh, different faces on the shields and everything so something really really cool there so let's look at the next parts tree and here's our second parts tree this one of course has the bows on it and the quivers more orok faces and bodies uh, what else is going on here the little hand weapons the small hand weapons and there's our gigantic spear right there with a couple of half jaws for our champion and now let's bring this up closer to the camera look at the detail nice detail work on that spear and uh, there's all our bodies here with the animal skins really quite nice work these were a big improvement over the earlier savage or orcs or ox models. I mean look at the, the fur detail on that quiver is really nice. Yeah these are of course improvements on the original Savage Orcs 
and uh, it was quite quite a nice model when this came out. So let's have a look at our final our final parts tree. And here's our final parts tree. We have the spears, which again are the stonework type spears. Um, there's the arm with the skull head drum. A couple of arrows. Notice the tips on these arrows. I'll show you something cool in a minute here. There of course are the arrow hands and the remaining bodies that we have as well as more quivers and more arrows. So here we go up into the camera. Look at the nice detail work on those bodies again. Uh, there's our spears and the arrows. I'm just turning this over here. You can see the backs of the bodies. <laughs> Buttocks. <laughs> anyway, enough of that talk. Okay, so there's the skull again. And now here's those arrows. Now here's something I want to show you. These are some real arrowheads that I've got. I think this is flint, or I'm not too sure. But these are, of course, authentic from back in the day. Just put those down. I'm just going to zoom in here. There you go. So these are the kind of arrowheads here that you're looking at when you're looking at these arrows here. So for you guys into uh, painting something authentic, this is the color of the stone that I have for them. And that concludes our look at the Savage Aurochs. And I hope you enjoyed that amazing review of the Aurochs. Aurochai. <laughs> anyway, no, the uh, Savage Aurochs. Or Savage Orcs. Aurochs. I don't know. Whatever. The Savage Boys. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to come on down to Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Fly all the way out there from England or the USA or wherever you're watching this video and visit us in person where I'm going to show you this great shelf where we have a copy of Warcry. We also have a silver tower and we've got some night goblins to help you with your gloom spite gits army as well as a Lorathin sky cutter, a wood elf glade guard regiment and these two are are going to be disappearing from the games workshop website when they bring out the city's book. And we have some Empire Great Swords, but they are still staying around, and I got two boxes of those guys if you need them. Those bad boys with the big swords. So until next time, if you face these guys, I wish you a lot of luck. And if you have this army, please in the comment section down below, write in and tell us how you do with them. And until next time, happy war gaming.